Lisa Lachlan Bell was diagnosed with cervical cancer 13 years ago. She was lucky to survive. I had to have a radical hysterectomy within five days of diagnosis, followed by six weeks of radiotherapy. The HPV vaccine might have prevented her cancer. It will likely keep her daughter from going through a similar ordeal. Of course I'm really excited and having a 15 year old daughter myself really makes it a, a bittersweet moment as well. HPV related cancer expert Dr. Linus Chuang says the HPV vaccine is a major development. But vaccination is specific and they are safe to be used and it can prevent a lot of diseases and death related to these infections. An aggressive vaccination program in Australia is well on its way to achieving Dr. Chuang's prediction. Our research has shown that Australia is on track to become the first country in the world to eliminate cervical cancer as a public health problem. Latest statistics show that cervical cancer rates in Australia will drop to less than six in every 100,000 people by 2022, officially classifying it as rare. By 2035, it'll be extremely rare and by 2060 almost non-existent. That success is largely attributed to the fact that in Australia, Gardasil is given to both girls and boys in school, which should prevent most cervical and genital cancers, as well as HPV-related oral and throat cancers in both males and females. New infections with the virus should pretty much have gone by now. Now, the reason that young children should get the vaccine is that it will then prevent most HPV infections before they become sexually active. The newest version of the vaccine, Gardasil 9, was approved four years ago, and it protects against nine strains of HPV, which is nearly all of the cancer-causing strains of the virus. And what the FDA did was take and expand the age range for which it's recommended for that Gardasil 9 all the way up to age 45. Wow. Talk to your doctor. You bet. Thanks. Mm -hmm.